guys i hope you enjoyed that cover my name is david soche aka saucy i just got finished editing and putting in the lyrics for this song and just kind of wanted to give my immediate thoughts on it i've looked at jess ray's videos and looked at a few pieces of scripture that came to mind so jess ray is a favorite of mine my wife loves her music too um discovered her a few years ago it's just really chill holy spirit driven acoustic music and her music's Pretty much what I go to if I'm having a rough day. I love uh, the description she has on YouTube for her song. This is a song about the best thing that ever happened to me. So about her coming to know the Lord. And I, I love the lyrics because it paints a, a pretty clear picture of all these different elements flowing in of just overwhelming completely um, and just being something that we really can't control. And I think that's an issue that's worth talking about is we ask God to come into our lives and change us, but then once things happen in a way that we feel like we don't really have control over the situation, that's where we go, okay, no, I'm gonna compartmentalize this to what I'm comfortable with. And so 
this is a song that's saying that's a foolish mindset and that you just gotta like, let God take the reins, Jesus take the wheel, you know? So for this song, I, I wanted to do a Cajon cover to change it up because um, the, the song is just acoustic guitar. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a good challenge for me to arrange a percussion part as opposed to trying to learn a drum part and um, instead of copying that, just make my own piece. So the song is mainly written as the, you know, that point when you accept Christ and you move, you move forward, completely change new creation in Him. I almost think of it as a step further than that for me because I was saved at a pretty young age and you know, you may not have had this dramatic shift just from when you got saved. So for me, it was more incremental and I had certain pivotal moments in my life where I felt like God changed me for the better. And so I think the description of this song can kind of match those moments of just letting God take control of your life and going with, you know, just where he takes you. And I had the thought of uh, us being a new creation in Christ. Um, and that brought me to 2 Corinthians 5, starting with verse 16. So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone, the new is here. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us a ministry of reconciliation. That God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. In Christ you are a new creation. You're not going back to what you were before that. What God wants for us is to run towards him and not turn back towards how things used to be. And I think with the, the scripture I just mentioned, you know, it's another thing of like the idea of sanctification and that even if we do backtrack, fall into sin, fall into crappy lifestyle, we can still be renewed in him. It all just comes down to relinquishing control and giving God sovereignty over your life. So I hope that encourages you. Hope you guys enjoyed this format a little bit more chill, less prepared. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed that um, or if you prefer kind of like the, hey, here's, you know, bullet points going down through all my ideas. I can go super deep into scripture for hours or I can just kind of give my thoughts off the top of my head. I'm still kind of playing around to see what fits best. My goal this year is one drum cover devotional-ish video a month. And then possibly on top of that, some additional content, some live footage from Sunday mornings when I normally play. Another thing could be drum tutorial stuff. I don't know if I'd wanna do specific songs, but just some general tips and tricks specific to mentality that I've learned along the way uh, from my roughly, it's been about 10 years now that I've been playing drum set, uh, started in high school, so. I've been really fortunate to play with a lot of different worship bands um, and a few cover bands, more on the secular side, and so I've, I've learned a lot of how to communicate with other musicians, how to best prepare for a set list, how to teach yourself. And so if you guys are interested in that too, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this and would like to see more, I'd love for you to subscribe and stick around. Thanks. And just a bonus video for you guys. Here's Seta. She's sleeping and I'm probably bothering her right now. She is the cutest dog ever. She is blind, but she gets around good. You can't even tell. Hey, Santa, say hi. Are you annoyed I woke you up? So, second bonus video. Yes. Chill with me on the couch while I read to help me fall asleep. Say hi, love.